Hi, my name is Susie Shin. I'm a producer songwriter, and today I'm going to be cooking up a track with Pro Tools and the new Splice integration that's in it. Okay, so let's see how to do this. Um, just because I'm familiar with it, I'm gonna type my name in the splice search and see if we have some drums uh, to start from. Interesting. I like that. I like that. I don't like this double snare hit. Um, interesting. Okay, and then I want to be in the grid. Okay, I'm down with that. Okay, that's cool. We were running it through the space echo. I have nothing labeled, that's okay. Uh, I liked this little weird thing. That I feel like that could be like a intro or something, maybe. Uh, let's go down here and then I just wanna reverse it. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this into Splice in Pro Tools and see what samples it's gonna say would go with this song. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, I'll take that on a new track. Okay, what else does it have? This is crazy. That's the song it thinks that I want to make. That's what. Let's see what piano things it would suggest. The thirty-one thousand options. <laughs>
it's from Black Widow, Alternate Blades. Yeah, we can automate that, it's cool. saying I can drag like this acoustic guitar in oh my god it was okay. it's gonna be like what tempo did you play at because you didn't play it in time and it... we'll see I feel like it's like judging me I feel like it's like what <laughs> here's what we think <laughs> Oh, I dragged. Oh, I did that right there. Let's see. That's crazy that it's like choosing the same. That's wild. It's so it, I think it's choosing the same chords, or the loop has it's happened to be the same like uh, chord pattern progression in this other key. It says it's in D sharp. It says it's in D sharp minor, and I'm in C major doing the one and the four. But that's great. I mean, that's crazy. Okay, let's turn the space echo on and see how much I can fuck it up. Goodbye, original sound. Okay, let's see how bad I am at the bass. like clean things up at the end so like when I close my session at the end of the day when I open it whether it be that next day or a week from then I know exactly what I was doing and what I was thinking because like in the moment I'll be like oh I I know all of this I'm sitting here making all of it but then when I open it in two weeks I'll be like hmm what was I doing I like to look at pro tools as uh, I'm not a painter, but like a canvas. That's also why I have a million tracks named audio at times. because I'm just like throwing stuff on the wall, throwing paint at the wall and just trying to make something and get all the technical aspects out of the way so that I can just focus on the thing that I did when I was uh, 13 in my bedroom uh, making music because I loved it. 
Um, okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna put on headphones. This is crazy doing this in front of cameras because this is what I do like, uh, ter I don't know. I don't know if I've ever done this in front of a camera. Well, for another time, but I feel like that's where the chords could all change. But those haze are cool, and I feel like I want to make a little stack, a little quad of haze. Let's see if it goes. It's reminding me of something that I feel like I'm ripping off. Maybe not, but I have a thing when when Pete when I'm in a session. If you're like that, reminds me of something. Do not play the song that it reminds you of. Like if you want to reference something at the start of the session, that's totally cool. But like then we're just gonna play an endless game of that. Will reminds me of that. Well, that reminds me of that. Oh, doesn't that melody sound familiar? And then it's just like it, you t you take away from focusing, and then it's like yeah. Cool, Th thanks for now playing this amazing um, Madonna song that, you know, that we're not gonna be anything like. It's just like, don't, who cares if it sounds like something else now? Like, worry about that later. Uh, I'm just gonna keep singing. Okay, then I feel like we, I don't know, get big there or something. I know a lot of the people will start with a hook or a big chorus and then work backwards. I don't know why. I'm super down for that sometimes, but like I will work from writing on the acoustic guitar or like see what's happening and, and maybe that's the not pop part of me that is like, what am I singing about? What is the story I'm trying to tell? And where are we going? In such a fast-paced world, I feel like I wrote like too chill of a, a me melody. Um, and I still don't exactly know what I'm saying, but you know, everything's not perfect. The the bass, the acoustic guitar that I played, like I'm not a great player, but like for the vibe and for serving its purpose. So funny. With that sound, like even this, I could have, I could have written over just this. Our little space echo loop. I think that added a huge vibe. Total 180 of a vibe, but it's cool. I think the takeaway would be just like getting into a state where you're not trying to judge yourself and honestly having having some rules, you know, like we gave ourselves a half an hour to make something and by that m minute mark, it had to stop. And it's like, okay, well, what can I do? What What's in my power? Like, I don't need to find the perfect sound right now because I could have spent the whole hour finding the perfect sound. Um, and in some cases, you know, I'm allowed to do that. I think when I'm more in my record 
making headspace. But now it's like, okay, that sounds cool. That loop, cool. 135 BPM, sweet. Let's just go with it and see where it takes us. Splice was suggesting like at first, like here's this heavy metal kind of guitar that you could use, but then I forget what I threw into it. It had that little, that little um, keys loop drone, which that sounded nice and it might not be perfect and it might not have been something I handcrafted with this synth that I turned every knob, but it, it's cool. And you know, and then like using the mixture of playing guitar, I chose two chords, like anybody can play two chords and uh, just seeing where that goes. I think that's the biggest takeaway is just like stop judging yourself for, for, this, for this one hour and just make something and see where it goes.